But first, it's a daring mission involving a nine-month journey, and it's going according to plan. These were the scenes of celebration at the American Space Agency, NASA, as it realized that its robotic vehicle, Curiosity, had successfully landed on Mars. Uh, the rover, which is the size of a small car, will look at past conditions on the red planet and see if it could have ever supported life. Take a look at the numbers behind the Mars mission now. They are really quite impressive. The expedition is estimated to have cost around about two and a half billion dollars in total, and that makes it the most expensive trip yet to the Red Planet. The spacecraft traveled more than 566 kilo million kilometers before this morning's landing to actually get to Mars, and that journey itself took about eight and a half months. That's a total of 253 days, if you count it in days. And it also traveled at a speed of around about 20,920 kilometers an hour, though it did manage to slow down for that crucial landing, which I think happened at a speed of about 0.6 kilometers per second. The landing capped a journey that lasted more than eight months and covered more than 350 miles. Now the small craft called Curiosity will begin the work of answering some of the biggest mysteries of space. And for the scientists behind the mission, look at that. The landing was a moment of pure joy, a thrilling conclusion to a lot of tension. Curiosity is the U.S. Space Agency's first astrobiology mission since the Viking probes in the 1970s. The successful landing will be a huge morale booster at NASA, beleaguered by budget cuts and the recent loss of its space shuttle program. Curiosity entered the planet's atmosphere at 17 times the speed of sound. The spacecraft then deployed a parachute and used a reverse thrust of rocket engines to reduce its speed to about 3 kilometers per hour. NASA launched the probe last November. Curiosity is the largest ever Mars rover. It's three meters long by two meters high and weighs nearly one ton. It will now analyze rocks and sand for evidence of organic matter. It will then beam the results back to Earth. Today, right now, the wheels of Curiosity have begun to blaze the trail for human footprints on Mars. Uh, Curiosity, the most sophisticated rover ever built, is now on the surface of the red planet, where it will seek to answer age-old questions about whether life ever existed there on Mars, or if the planet can sustain life in the future. The project is also studying the Martian environment in preparation for a possible human mission in the future. NASA hopes Curiosity's journey will be the next phase of exploration, which inspires generations to come. It's, it's a very nail-biting experience. It's, it's unbelievable when you put in as much time as we have. I've worked personally on the mission for eight years, and it, it could be alive or it could be dead in, the, in, the, in those seven minutes. And so it, it is a very anxious, very tense situation. We're landing on the surface of Mars with a system that we've never landed on a planet before with. And so it was an unbelievable experience for us to be successful in, in putting that vehicle on the surface of Mars. So Curiosity safely on the surface of Mars now. Now it begins its work and its uh, work will span the course of two years. It's going to be analyzing rocks and soil on the surface, looking for signs of whether life existed on Mars at one point or whether the possibility exists that Mars still may harbor some form of life. So there's a lot that is still going to be uh, learned uh, as Curiosity goes about its long and uh, complex process of exploration. <laughs> 